are you making this time? A special elixir to become Pepe the Invincible. Oh boy. Actually, Pepe, we have a job to do. What? A mission for Pepe the Invincible? Okay, so there's a coronavirus test that we can do at home. Yes, we don't need to go to the doctor or hospital. I know, it's a lateral flow test. Correct, lateral flow test or LFTs. Both grown-ups and kids use these more frequently to help slow the spread of COVID-19 in our community. So, we thought we would help show you how to use it. I agree. We should all know how to do it. And it works like a science experiment. Let's get started! Before taking your lateral flow test, remember not to eat or drink for at least 30 minutes. I think that becomes the most challenging part of the test. I agree. Every good scientist knows to keep our work areas clean and tidy when starting an experiment. So begin by cleaning the space you will use for your test. And if you're doing multiple tests, remember to clean your testing area and wash your hands very well in between doing each test. Use a paper towel to prevent cross-contamination. Cross-contamination. When germs get transferred from one person or object to another person or object. Wash your hands for at least 30 seconds and clean the area you use. Open your kit. Lay out the contents. Make sure you get a box of tissues or some tissue paper. Now, look at the items from your kit. Check to make sure nothing looks broken, missing, or damaged. Read all the instructions for your test before you do anything. We use the Flow Flex test, but most lateral flow test instructions go something like this. Step 1. Remove the foil from the top of the extraction buffer tube. Because tubes can't stand up by themselves, place it into the hole in your kit box. If your kit comes with a tube holder, put it in the tube holder. Step 2. Get the swab packaging. It looks like a Q-tip. Don't touch the soft side with your hands. If you touch it with your hands, the test won't work correctly. Yes, that's right. The soft part will go into your nose, but not very far. Only about one and a half centimeters or half inch. Step 3. Rotate the swab five times brushing it against the inside of your nostril. <laughs> that looks a bit ticklish. Yes, rubbing it against the side of your nose will probably tickle a little. When done with one nostril, use the same swab on the other side and rotate it five times again. Step four. Put it into the tube and swirl it gently for 30 seconds. Step five. Gently squeeze the side of the tube while rotating the swab five times. See, just like this. This gentle squeezing while rotating the swab, make sure you get everything off the swab and into the mixture. When you finish turning it, remove the swab while squeezing the tube to ensure you get everything. Step six, now watch closely. Attach the dropper tip firmly onto the extraction buffer tube. Make sure that it goes on good and proper because you will mix everything thoroughly by swirling and maybe even gently flicking the bottom of the tube. Step seven. Now you'll need the pouch that contains the cassette. Or as I call it, the rectangular results thingy. So take that out of the pouch and lay it flat. Gently squeeze the tube. Put four drops on the specimen well like this. Easy peasy. Almost there. Now just set the timer for 15 to 30 minutes and wait for the results. The results have come in. Drum roll please. I see a red line. A line across the sea means that you have a COVID negative result. That means the test did not find traces of COVID proteins, called antigens, in the sample. A line across the C and the T means that you have a COVID positive result. Don't worry, if you test positive, it just means you need to take care of yourself. 
Your parent or guardian will let you know what to do. And if they need more guidance, they can always call the flu hotline on 1-800-534-8600. If you get no line across the sea at all, it means that your test did not work properly. That means you have to get another kit and do it again. That line across the sea should always show up. And that's it, all done. Just make sure you clean up and throw all the testing bits away. Wash your hands after the test for at least 30 seconds and you're good to go. Remember to report your results to your school and follow the directions they give you. If you find yourself feeling worried, sad or even angry about taking a COVID test, remember you can ask for help. Some people may feel anxious about getting a positive result. Talk to your parents or guardians. You can even talk to your school counselor. You can also call the Mental Health Helpline on 1-800-534-6463 to talk to someone who helps kids with their feelings, like Miss Sophia. Stay, Stay safe, safe, everybody. everybody. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. Bye.